8th December 2020. A year that turned out to be not what anybody ever could have imagined that it would be the year of the pandemic. Hi everyone and welcome back once again to my channel. It's Shikemi and I'm really really happy to be you know with you today why am i happy i'm just always happy <laughs> but basically sincerely uh, you know it's the year 2020 the year of the pandemic and this is december so i'm pretty much really happy about the fact that i'm able to share this month with you it's the month that was born my birthday is on the 23rd i am grateful for that another year you know to be grateful you know i know this year didn't turn out to be the way that we wanted it to be we didn't start this year you know with the pandemic in mind everybody started this year thinking you know oh i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do that hence us all having various kinds of new year's resolutions we said happy new year today wrote down our resolutions some people don't write it down some people just have it in their mind oh this is what i'm gonna achieve this year but i know that a lot of people this year had plans that involved other people you know going to, going to parties going to work simple going to work going to church going to mass going for your going to the gym you know or just being with people but this year no that was not what this year was you know this year just turned out to be like almost like a scene in a horror movie or maybe let's just call it the whole film or a whole season of a horror movie some people have said that this year was like um um black mirror like if black mirror if they were going to netflix was going to do a black mirror you know season this year would just have been wow a great story to write about because everything that could go wrong actually went wrong in this year we had the pandemic we had police brutality that all turned due to the protests you know people shooting killings we had wildfires in california we had NSARS in nigeria we had a lot of things happening back to back to back to back to back bad things this whole year but this is december and we are part of it. It is good to be alive. It's good to be a part of this year. The number of people that have died from COVID is astronomical. It's just been going, it's unbelievable. When the COVID issue started earlier in this year, nobody thought that by December, you know, it would still be ongoing. But, 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 we should be thankful. Why? Because there's vaccines out there now. I know there are a lot of videos going on about saying people are going to turn to zombies or people are going to turn to mutants, you know, um, by taking the vaccine. I know that's, you know, those are just jokes. Be like, uh, uh. <laughs> it's just so funny. I've seen a lot of videos going on like that with different, you know, things like that. But, you know, at this point, we're just grateful that there is actually a vaccine or there are vaccines out there that people can take and they're going to be they rolled out in china already and next week they're rolling out in uk and um i'm guessing later this month they're going to be rolling out in the us and before you know it by early next year you know most people will have been able to be vaccinated i know there are a lot of conspiracy theories going on about what the vaccine is you know what people are going to be turning to mutants or whatever but like i said let us be thankful you know let us be thankful let us be grateful so today's topic what i want to talk about today is pretty much gratitude gratitude is just you know the, having the attitude of you know thankfulness of appreciating the little things of showing kindness to others opening the door for somebody you know is is so little but you don't know how far that goes smiling at somebody helping somebody with their groceries i know that this year a lot of people showed a lot of help to people that were uh, unable to provide for themselves because a lot of people lost their jobs a lot of churches like my church epic church we had um various drives they still do it every they still it's still ongoing where they go out to help people give people um food stuff groceries help people do their shopping i know a lot of people that will check on older people all those things you know helped a lot of people get through the hard times of this year a lot of people lost their jobs i know but at the end of the day the help they got from the community that they they're in kind of really helped them to go through the year 
I just want us to cultivate the attitude of gratitude. I'm not playing on words, it just happened. Yeah, but you know, counting your blessings, number one, um, paying it forward, helping somebody in your environment. I've, and you know, studies have said it also that when you show gratitude, you're not just helping that person or you're not just helping anybody that is a recipient of you know, your help or your smile, you're helping yourself too because it has been said that gratitude releases some happy juices that actually, you know, reduces this um, depression. It also reduces um, anxiety and it just makes you feel better. So for your own well-being too, why not adopt, <laughs> why not adopt, you know, um, attitude of gratitude? Another way to cultivate, you know, the attitude of gratitude is you just have a journal, gratitude journal. A lot of people I know have gratitude journals. So, you know, get a journal and write things you are always thankful for, for each day. You could do that in the morning, just write it down, or later in the day or at night before you go to bed, just write all the things that happened that day and what you are thankful for. Do not dwell on the negatives, dwell on the positives. You know, like the book, um, Secrets, I don't know if you've read it, that book actually helped me a lot. You know, it says there's a frequency you send out there when you are positive about things, you send out the positive reading and the world is run for a reason, that's what I say. So what goes around comes around. What you send out comes back to you. So when you do good, good will come back to you. Um, it's the law of the land, it's the law that the world was created with. You know, you don't plant um, corn and reap cassava. So plant corn, you reap corn. So plant good, you reap good. So basically, Write down your, um, what you're thankful for. Just get a journal and write things down. Some people also, you know, go in front of their mirrors every day and say positive things to themselves. That helps a lot too. It helps a lot of people. You can do that, you know, go, go in front of the mirror and she came me, I'm thankful for you because you are healed and happy. And thank you for you because this is yet 2020 you're able to see 2020 you're able to see the the last month i'm thankful for you you know i'm thankful for you because uh you're not in the hospital you just say those things that you're thankful for and by the time you say those little things you know over and over again you just realize you know the things that you seem or you feel are serious or hard they just melt away in the background so gratitude another attitude to cultivate is to smile more <laughs> smile you know and even when you don't feel like smiling by the time you smile and smile and smile <laughs> at the end of the day you just feel better you know smile more and regular meditation and mindfulness also helps so you meditate so you project yourself you know into a happy place, a peaceful place. You might even want to put on a, you know, a scented candle and lovely background music. There are a lot of background music. Um, there are a lot of background music in, on YouTube that you can actually listen to. And you just let go, let the calmness take over. Breathe in. Breathe out, you know, rhythmic breathing. And, you know, at the same time, you just see those things that you're thankful for in your mind. That helps a lot. So, as the year runs to an end, let us cultivate and adopt the attitude of gratitude. Celebrate the minor accomplishments. Write down, you know, things that you're grateful for. Smile often volunteer to help somebody um, positive affirmations and just meditate on those things that make you happy you know and like I said the key of happiness is in your hands you own the key to your happiness one of the things that you can do is to adopt the attitude of gratitude and that's just a key one of those things that will definitely bring you happiness so I want to say thank you and, you know for watching my video today i appreciate you all and um i'll see you in the next video do not forget to like and subscribe i had this um actually had this 
I would call it wishful thinking. I was really optimistic that I would get a thousand subscribers by my birthday. I know how possible that is right now. I don't even have up to 300. But the thing is, for those subscribers I have right now, I'm thankful. I'm grateful. Thank you to every single one of you. You can share my videos if you want. And um, do, those that are watching that have not subscribed, you can subscribe too. I would appreciate it. But you know what? For everyone watching today, I'm just grateful for you. Thank you. And see you in the next video. Bye. Annyeong. <laughs>